hello everybody welcome to this video training today I am going to show you how you can use the Cisco 819 router in packet tracer uh, first of all let's take a look at the physical aspect of this router the Cisco 819 the Cisco 819 router is an ISR router ISR stands for integrated service router so this uh, it means that this router has a lot of functionality built in so this router as you see up here has four LAN port a gigabit WAN port a serial WAN port and a console port the 819 router has built in Cisco access point as you see up here in this uh, presentation and the access point has two radio interfaces and a wireless gigabit interface so uh, I'm gonna conclude to say that this router has two iOS one, uh, one uh, uh, is for the router and the other iOS is for the access point so just keep that in mind the router also has a cellular interfaces a cellular interface for the wireless for wireless uh, WAN connection uh, but those interfaces uh, just imagine that because they are not something that you can touch and see so now let's go to uh, Cisco packet tracer uh, and um, so we can have a better view of this router so I have I'm gonna tap like this version up here I have come with the 819 router so I'm gonna grab one as you see up here the Cisco 819 router is uh, up here in front of us so uh, the first thing I would like to tell you is when you first boot up this router a default configuration has already been applied so let me go to uh, uh, open up up here this router as you see up here this is the physical as aspect of the router I was trying to show you up here on the on the presentation so let's go to the CLI so up here we're gonna do now for the uh, configuration and now when you first boot up this router uh, uh, I told you a default configuration has already been applied so uh, let me go to privilege mode right now and I'm gonna do a show run so let me make this uh, a little bit bigger I'm gonna do a show run show run for the running config and as you see up here as you see in, up here in this configuration the router has a default configuration uh, so what I did up here is I just copy uh, this uh, default configuration and I put it on the presentation up here so let's go back to the presentation so like up here you see the default configuration right up here we have the name of the router uh, and uh, this router is configured as a DHCP server using the 10.10.10.0 network with the 24 bits uh, with the uh, with the uh, this mask up here this subnet mask up here as you see up here and uh, uh, next we have the interface uh, up here with uh, the uh, interface gigabit uh, the gigabit when interface uh, I told you and the four LAN interface all those interface they didn't have configuration as you see up here in this in this uh, running config and we have the serial WAN interface as you see up here it's just have the, the clock rate uh, set for this uh, interface uh, on this configuration so moving uh, through this uh, running config let me go to the next page we have this interface called the uh, wireless LAN gigabit interface this is the interface I was telling you is uh, uh, embedded or is integrated uh, is inside the, the access point the AP as you see up here and we have this interface called interface WLAN AP0 and this interface uh, I forgot to mention that it is uh, uh, this WLAN AP0 uh, as you know the the access point is integrated on the router 
and doesn't have an external console a port for the connection so in order to get to the access point console we use this interface uh, called interface WLAN AP0 as you see up here and uh, 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 just to uh, to say it again it is used to, uh, for communication between the router and the access point uh, just keep that in mind for um, and this interface must have an IP address but if you see look at in this configuration this interface doesn't have an IP address instead we have uh, uh, this command up here called the IP uh, the IP number command we, uh, we use this IP unnumber command and this IP unnumber command is uh, uh, if you guys don't know the what it means it is this command just allow this uh, interface WLAN AP0 to use the interface uh, uh, we put up here so if I put IP unnumbered VLAN 1 that means I'm uh, telling this uh, interface to use the uh, the IP address for the interface VLAN 1 that's that's what it means so uh, we don't need to uh, in this case so we're going to be able to uh, uh, access uh, the, as the access point by uh, uh, because of this IP unnumbered command so just keep that in mind so moving down we have the interface cellular this uh, cellular when uh, this cellular interface is a WAN interface that can uh, 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 allow us to connect through the ISP uh, using a, a cellular WAN connection so just keep that in mind and now we have the interface VLAN 1 uh, and uh, they give the interface VLAN 1 this IP address as you see up here the 10.10.10.1 and this is the IP address that's uh, this interface uh, also will use the interface WLAN AP0 as you know and uh, moving uh, moving uh, we have this access list access list uh, up here I don't know why they put it up here because it is not uh, used to, through this uh, when I'm gonna go uh, through this configuration I'm gonna I'm not gonna need this access list but just keep the, keep in mind that it is there so uh, basically that's the default configuration that come with this route when you first boot up uh, using a Cisco packet tracer so uh, in order to uh, uh, to uh, enable wireless functionality on this router what you need to do first of all is uh, uh, so what I mean is adding uh, additional configuration to the router first of all you need to go to the we need to connect to the AP I mean the access point that is integrated inside this router by using this command up here it is called the service module uh, wireless LAN AP uh, session that's what you put on the uh, you have to be on the privilege mode and you put this command so in order to show you that let me let me go up here to Cisco packet tracer uh, to the router up here so uh, I'm gonna do enable enable session yeah session that's it so we don't need to put uh, a number up here so once you put session and now you see uh, it is say trying uh, the 10.10 .10, that, that's, that's what I was telling you it is borrowing this IP address from uh, the interface VLAN 1 and it is using this port up here for that uh, for the for the connection for the connect console connection so now as you see up here I'm connected to the AP just like as the uh, configuring the router you need to be uh, on the global configuration mode in order to configure this AP so you first of all you do enable enable and now you're gonna go and do conf like configure terminal conf t you can do that conf t and now we are on the global configuration mode so le let's go to the presentation right now I'm, I'm gonna show you so once you do the con uh, once you are on the global configuration mode the first thing you need to do is to create an SSID as you see up here create an SSID and uh, to create the SSID you use this command up here that 11 SSID and the SSID in, in this uh, example up here I, I call this SSID test so let's go quickly up here uh, to the router I'm gonna do SSID uh, I'm gonna do that uh, that 11 and SSID and uh, I'm gonna call it uh, test as you see up here and uh, we are on the SSID configuration mode so now we're gonna do authentication 
like uh, two, uh, two type of authentication I'm going to use authentication open and authentication key management w w uh, p a so uh, let's go go back to the presentation authentication open open and authentication uh, uh, key management WPA and that's it so now going back to the presentation let's see the next uh, step we need to take is the guest mode command this guest mode is uh, allowing the the, a, the access point to broadcast uh, the SSID so uh, I hope you guys know that from my last uh, my pr uh, my last video that I was doing for the 851 uh, W uh, uh, configuration so let's go back uh, to Cisco packet tracer I'm gonna do a uh, guest mode guest mode and I'm now the, the SSID will, bro will be broadcast through this uh, because uh, because of this command so and the next step is to give uh, to use a, a key or I mean a password that's gonna allow uh, the uh, that's gonna allow the devices to connect to this router using this password up here and the key are uh, I choose up here is Cisco one two three four for simplicity. You know, let's go back to the to the configuration. WPA WPA uh, PSK and ASCII and I'm gonna do uh, Cisco one two three four and now that's it. So, uh, so I'm done with that. Uh, uh, the the configuration, uh, the additional uh, the configuration for uh, for the SSID. So there is another configuration I need to do. It is configuring the DAT11 radio interfaces and configuring the wireless LAN gigabit zero interface. We need we need that. Uh, so uh, before I go through that, uh, I would like to go to the AP. Uh, the AP up here and do a show let me exit from here exit from here and I'm gonna do a show IP interface brief brief and as you see up here I told you the wireless access point has a gigabit uh, uh, interface this is a wireless LAN uh, gigabit interface number zero and and two uh, that 11 radio interfaces the first one is the, that 11 zero uh, radio zero and that 11 radio one as you see up here and this is a bvi interfaces and this bvi interfaces <laughs> uh, is just like to bridge the uh, to bridge this uh, that 11 radio interfaces to the gigabit wireless LAN interfaces uh, uh, so uh, let's go back to the presentation I'm gonna show you so first of all you go and configure the dot 11 radio interfaces by uh, going to the interface mode command so I'm gonna go uh, to conf t and I'm gonna do that interface sorry wow, that interface dot 11 radio 0 and uh, the command the first command you're gonna need is to uh, specify the encryption type you will use uh, in this case you can use uh, for packet tracer just use t uh, t t k t keep uh, because uh, that's uh, the only there is not a lot of features uh, you see uh, with packet tracer so i would like for you guys to know that you know so let's do the encryption mode encryption encryption uh, mode uh, cipher uh, uh, t and that's it and now the next step is uh, to uh, specify the bridge group so I, I told you that there is a PVI interface that's going to be bridging the the, the dot 11 radio interface and the, and the gigabit uh, wireless LAN interface up here so I'm going to do bridge group bridge group uh, uh, bridge bridge group 
one and uh, and the next step is to specify the SSID that we will use and now and now we can uh, uh, specify the SSID I'm gonna do SSID and the SSID name is test and now uh, the next step is uh, to do a no shutdown because by default this interface is shut down <laughs> see if you don't do a no shutdown the, you will not gonna be able to uh, uh, have wireless connectivity uh, to, uh, for your devices so just go back uh, so now I'm gonna go I'm gonna do a no shutdown up here no shut no shutdown and you see now the interface is up so now the last conf uh, next step is uh, to configure the wireless LAN gigabit interface is just to, to is uh, just uh, we, need, we need a single command in order to uh, configure this interface is to bridge this uh, interface to the dot 11 that your interface so uh, let's go back uh, uh, to, to the router to the access point and we're gonna do uh, exit from here and we're gonna do interface WLAN uh, interface no gigabit sorry about that <laughs> gigabit gigabit zero but keep in mind that this is the wireless name gigabit zero you know so and we're gonna do bridge bridge group one and that's the only command you need now everything should be uh, uh, should be working right now so in order to test that let's go to the uh, to the diagram up here so now I have the the router is now should be uh, broadcasting the SSID so in order to prove you that let me grab a wireless PC up here so you see this PC up here it is the wireless PC so I'm gonna grab it up here and now let's open open the what you're gonna do is to open the PC and you go to desktop and you go to uh, PC wireless up here and now as you see you click connect up here so once you click connect you should uh, be seeing the SSID you see uh, excellent the SSID is up here as it say SSID test and now in order to connect you're gonna click connect up here and uh, you see the encryption I told you it is WP uh, the security uh, 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 key is W we are using WPA uh, and for the encryption we are not using AES because there is no AES for the command uh, for uh, for Cisco packet reset. keep that in mind so we're gonna use the uh, keep up here and now the, the pre-shared key is Cisco as you remember in the configuration Cisco uh, one two three four so and now you click connect and once you click connect excellent and now this router, uh, this PC should be connected to the router. So, and as you see up here, it is connected. So, so in order to prove you that, let me go to the to the uh, IP configuration. And you see, uh, it already has an IP address uh, through the DHCP, uh, through the DHCP pool, and the IP address is up here. So excellent. So I hope you guys uh, learned something from this video. And uh, that's uh, how you can use this 819 router uh, with packet tracer in order to do your uh, simulation with your and uh, with your wireless device. So I hope you guys uh, uh, learned something. Uh, I would like to thank you for watching, and I see you for my next one. Thanks.